leave your running crew. He says it's not for the money. He has a strategy for breaking the tension off the times a month. He says that his friends have nicknamed him Teddy Bear. Please welcome Doug Kanitsky. Hi, Doug. How are you? Good to see you. Nice to see you. So your friends call you Teddy Bear. Why? Uh, I was given a teddy bear by an ex-girlfriend of mine, uh -huh. and it's like she meant a lot to me, so I just, I wanted to hang on to that as a remembrance. And so you just took the nickname? Took the nickname, it sort of goes with me, I'm not the type to fight. Yeah. Oh, good. You, uh, you say that you date about 20 times a month. Where in the world do you meet all the women to be, I mean, from Michigan on top of that, how long have you been here? I've been here for about three years. And 20 times a month, that's a lot. It's a lot. It's like, it's not really dates. It's like lunches here and there, you know. I, yeah, I work at a club. dollars a day to, you know, bring up right around two grand a month. Oh, quite. Uh, I work at a club, and I get a lot of girls that come on to me and stuff, and, you know, they want to go out. Take a look at the tapes of Doug Son. I remember you're going to vote again. First, Kathy, she recently lost 30 pounds, and now she thinks she looks great. She has a cat named Schmedley, and all of her dishes, towels, and blankets, and most everything she owns is the color purple. And here's more about Kathy. I'm a little bit, a little bit odd, I think. I like things others wouldn't even dream about, like spiders. People are scared of spiders. My sister screams whenever she sees a spider. And I'll pick it up and I put it outside, you know, let it go on its way. Next, Rachel, she believes that uh, men like her voice, her honesty, and the way she kisses. She admits that she likes to flirt uh, on her dates, but not necessarily with the guy she's out with. Here's more on that. If I'm out with somebody and they're nice and everything, but they're, I know that I'm not going to marry them or anything down the line, then, yeah, I tend to flirt with other people, especially if it's a club scene. First of all, the guy's an idiot if he takes me out to a nightclub. How stupid. We don't take a date to a nightclub. <laughs> Okay. Finally, Kristen, she wants a relationship where the man gives 60% and she gives 40. She can't stand men who are disorganized, irresponsible, drink beer, drink cheap beer at that. Kristen told us what she does to get herself out of a bad mood. A matching pair of panties and bra that I have, and usually I wear it when I'm not feeling so good about myself because it makes me feel better. Even though it is underneath my clothes, it makes me feel better. Just to have, because it's all silk. And it just makes me, it's very comfortable. It makes me feel better about myself. I'm beginning to feel better about myself already, just hearing that. Okay. Those are the three women Doug had to choose from. Time for you to vote. Who would uh, you think he should go? Uh, audience made his choice. Doug's going to tell us who he picked. I picked Rachel. All right. Out of time. We're going to find out everything that happened on Doug's day tomorrow. That's our show for today. We'll be back tomorrow with Doug and more singles trying to make a love connection. Until then, I'm Chuck Woolery, and I hope all your dates are good ones tonight. See you tomorrow. Chuck Woolery's wardrobe furnished by Bernini. This is John Cervanka speaking for Love Connection. Love Connection is an Eric Lieber production produced in association with and distributed by Warner Brothers Domestic Television Distribution. To Love Connection, where old-fashioned romance meets modern-day technology, where you hear all the intimate details of a first date. And now, here's the host of Love Connection... He claims to date about 20 times a month, and he believes that his honesty offends some women, and he admits that he's had uh, to disappoint a great deal of women. Please welcome Doug Konensky. Yeah. Hey, Doug. Thank you. Doug, you can have a seat. Well, I guess we all have to have a little disappointment in our life occasionally. What have you done to disappoint women? Uh, I feel a lot of women nowadays are looking for the more sexual type relationships, and that's not part of me. I feel if I'm going to be with somebody, I'm sharing a part of myself with them, and it's just not what I'm looking for. You can't Well, I think some people could confuse that, that that's not part of your life at all. You just, that's not paramount importance to your relationship? Is that what you you're saying? You can't build a relationship on sex alone. What do you think you can build it on? 
you got to build it for what you like and uh, things that you have in common with somebody, the things that you do and don't do together, mm -hmm. and trust. All right. I want to remind everybody what happened yesterday. Uh, our studio audience saw Doug's three choices. They voted for one. Going to take a look at all three ladies again and catch you up. First, Kathy, all of her dishes, towels, blankets, most everything she owns is the color purple. Because she likes it. Then there's Rachel. She likes to flirt on her dates, not necessarily with the guy she's with, but, you know, she likes to flirt. Finally, Kristen, she can't stand men who are disorganized, irresponsible, and drink cheap beer. <laughs> Audience vote was recorded yesterday. We'll get that later. Right now, Doug's going to tell us who he chose. I chose Rachel. And she's backstage. Say hello to Rachel Headley. Hello, Rachel. How are you? Hi, sir. Nice to meet you. You make yourself at home. And uh, she said hi, by the way. Hello. <laughs> make yourself at home. Couldn't hear you over the, the crowd. Yeah. Tell, me, tell me about the date. I told her, you know, the night before that we were going to Magic Mountain. Okay. Because I just wanted her to dress casual. You told her the night before. I told her the night before. Oh, so you did know before the date. And was that all right with you, Rachel, that you were going to Magic Mountain? Yeah, that was fine. I had, I had suggested it, in fact. Oh, okay. That was, that was one of her suggestions. That's the yeah. thing. Yeah. I'd, I'd ask for suggestions. Yeah, and a I lot of times her. I think attitude can play or not play on situations Basically, like that. Yes. So you go to her house. I went to her house, and I wasn't greeted the way that, it, you know, I was greeted with, like, a handshake rather yeah. than, you know, maybe a friendly hug or something mm -hmm. to that effect. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then what would you think when you saw him, Rachel? Well, I mean, I, he was tall, which is what he had said. He is tall, um, and, and he's, he's okay looking, but he's, he's not what I expected. I, he's not, you know, I just expected this god. I really did. Well, and, and he's a nice looking guy, but okay. not what I expected. Right. So you, you pick her up and you're going to Magic Mountain. Right. We're on, the, we're on the drive up there. Nothing major going on for conversation. It's like pulling teeth trying to get conversation out of her mouth. Uh, hmm. Well, uh, did you feel that way? Uh, no, I, I just, there wasn't really room for me to get a word in edgewise because Doug just was so busy talking on his own. Boy, he just couldn't wait to tell me every story in the book, especially about what a great driver he was, and, and he loved going fast, but he had a perfect driving record and blah, 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 and next thing you know, we're getting pulled over by the CHP. <laughs> Terribly humbling experiences, isn't it? Oh, that, yeah. that didn't start things off well at all. <laughs> so you get a ticket? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And, and the cop, cop actually, he says to me, he says, you're 6'5", 225. He said, you should be playing professional football driving a Porsche. <laughs> and I turned and looked at her, and I said, if I was Which driving Doug a Porsche. Which used to tell everybody all day long about this, because he just loves this little boost to his ego about he should be a football player. <laughs> and he just tells everybody the whole story, especially that part, all day long. Mm. <laughs> didn't start things off well. So you go to Magic Mountain. We get to Magic Mountain, and a lot of people there, the lines are, like, tremendous. You know, weekend before Halloween, everyone wanted to see, you know, what Magic Mountain had to offer. Right. And the conversation, she just wasn't talking. I was having more fun talking to the people around me. Uh -huh. They seemed to now, pay more Now, were you time. ignoring him, Rachel? No, I wasn't. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a multiple, this a multiple just, choice, Rachel? I just, I mean, at this point, I, I just heard so many stories, and I just was kind of tired of them. And, and he was having a lot of conversation with people around us, which I don't know if they enjoyed for the full four-hour waits in lines. Um, and I just, I, I was afraid to just get him on another roll, so I just kind of was keeping to myself. <laughs> okay. Ugh. So now what, you go on all the rides, and I guess as many as you can, and then, then what do you do? We went to dinner. I asked her where she wanted to go to dinner, mm -hmm. and she chose to go to Red Lobster. Okay. And we went to dinner, and she ordered like you wouldn't believe. I mean, <laughs> I eat a lot. I'm from the Midwest, but, I mean, she I'm ordered... Hungry. She ordered potato skins. She ordered... Uh, Six ounce lobster's skin. tail, uh, eight ounce steak. You know, I mean, she ate like there was no tomorrow. And I felt like I was being used at that point in time. Oh, really? So you didn't, you didn't, you weren't appreciative of this. You, you, no, I wasn't appreciative. Why not? But I mean, why? There's though? nothing wrong with a good, healthy, well balanced meal. And I, that's what I have. Especially at someone else's expense. So, oh, so you're sitting there while she's ordering, watching the bill go up and thinking, oh my gosh. It? Oh, I, mean, I was no. very polite about that. I asked him, because he had mentioned money like it was an issue, and so, and I, I never want to ream somebody in the wallet, you know? So, I mean, I asked him, I said, is this okay? Do we kind of have a budget here? And he said, no, get what you want, you know? And so but, I did. But that's how you really felt. I be, no, I basically said, I don't, you know, money's not 
really important to me. If I can't make money to spend it, why make it? But, but you're really feeling used because she's gone through the menu you know, without missing anything. Basically, because of the afternoon that we had, it was that way. Okay. You know, well, so now what happens next? Um, we started talking about past relationships, and I mentioned the fact that uh, I talked about my ex-girlfriend and how we felt about each other and the way I treated her, and basically to let her know that she's missing out on something. Uh -huh. Well, what was your reaction to that, Rachel? Well, I was really interested in, the, in, in, in hearing about his ex-girlfriend um, for a couple of reasons. I wanted to find out what kind of person could be with Doug for that amount of time. And, and she seemed like a really nice person, and maybe that's why they're not still together. <laughs> How did this date end? This is not going well. No, it wasn't going well. Uh, the drive home, she fell asleep. Yeah. And she's lucky I didn't drop her off and say, you know, hey, have a nice walk home. Because that was the attention she was paying to me. So you, you finally get to her place. We get to her place, and, uh, you know, she, she was in a hurry. She said she had to go to the bathroom, and she had to do this or that. I walked so her to her door. Basically, I walked her to the door and uh, said goodnight. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, let's take a look and see what the audience picked for you. Sometimes you'd be surprised. Okay. In this case, however, uh, they picked Rachel, too, 44%. So I guess we don't want to talk about this. And Rachel, I'm sorry we didn't make a love connection for you, but thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. And maybe we'll see you again. And thanks, Doug. Doug. We tried. <laughs> I don't think you need much help, but thank you anyway. And we're going to come right back with another couple. Stay with us. So I was at the dentist, and I said, Doctor,